Oh. <laughs> On today's RV adventures, we are out hiking. The uh, beverages are great and the service was even better. And he has his own water with, so I cannot get accused of not giving him any water. I can't take this nice cement path. No. And if you can hit up their food truck while you're in Georgetown or the Austin area, it's a must. <laughs> Another tip while hiking with a dog is to make sure you're is amazing and you all should come to it. I said y'all. Do you hear that? I think I'm picking up a Texas accent. Cheers. We're, we're all in trouble now. <laughs> Hello and welcome to Chasing RV Sunshine. We are Joel, Deb, and Maya. We are a full-time RV couple who recently retired from law enforcement, downsized, and sold everything. We share our adventures as we learn about RV life and cover RV travels, finances, DIY RV projects, destination reviews, and other RV living details. We hope you join us as we document our adventures, Chasing RV Sunshine, throughout the country and beyond. On last week's video, we dealt with a poopsicle before we traveled, had a fabulous trip travel day, enjoyed our time at a National Historic Park with Maya, and headed to Cedar Breaks Park in Georgetown, Texas. On this week's video, we'll show you the park and all the fun places we did and explored in the area, a couple of hikes, some restaurants, and even a brewery and a winery and distillery. So sit back, relax, while we take you along on this journey and explore the Georgetown, Texas area. <laughs> On today's RV adventures, we are out hiking in Cedar Breaks Park. Yep, just outside of Georgetown, Texas. We are on the... Crockett Falls. The Goodwater Loop as well. Yep. We're looking forward to this, and so is Maya. Supposedly about a seven or seven plus mile hike. Which he has been pre-told, <laughs> and he has his own water with, so I cannot get accused of not giving him any water. We got some for Maya too, cause she's along. Hey, cause you can hear her whining cause she wants to get started. All right, here we go. Wish us luck. Now we're taking a side trail down to let Maya into the water so she can swim, cool off a little bit as we head to the waterfalls that where we're gonna let her swim for a bit. So she has some fun before we get down that way. Let in the can so we can carry it out. You bring it in, you carry it out. Bring it in, carry it out. Don't leave your trash, people. Some tips for hiking with dogs. Make sure that you bring your own uh, poop bags. Yep. and clean it up as you go. We've been on this trail and there's numerous spots that people have not cleaned up after their dogs and we find that disgusting. That's shameful as a dog owner as far as we're concerned. Yep, another thing is is make sure that you have a container um, for water for them so that they can get hydrated as well. Yep. And treats. treats. Lots and lots of treats. All right, come. Sit. Good girl. Okay. So we are at the top of Crockett Falls. Yep. We were down there earlier and we went back to the trail and it kind of circled back around to the top of it. Pretty cool from here. It's also a spot where you can walk right through the start of it. So we're going to head that way and uh, see where the end of this trail is and turn around and head back to the campsite. Yep. It's been very enjoyable so far. It is. We are staying right here in the park, um, and it, it, we have a beautiful sight. It's a little windy up here, so sorry if this audio sucks. Another tip while hiking with a dog is to make sure you're a polite dog owner. Make sure that you move over to the side of the trail when other people approach to make sure your dog is under control and have them sit until the people pass. 
especially if they have a dog because you never know if the other dog's aggressive you never know what's going to trigger your dog or whatever so just be polite let everybody pass and then go on your way yes and remember not everybody is as big as dog lover as you are some people are scared of animals and so this way you make sure your dog's under control and you're making sure that other people can enjoy the hike as well yep and they feel comfortable knowing that you're controlling your animal Oh, we did it. We managed to do the hike. It ended up being 6.3 miles. Um, it was very enjoyable. Yep. Uh, three words that come to mind when I think of the hike is uh, beautiful, fun, and definitely rocky. rocky. Uh, you had to definitely watch where you were stepping the whole time. So I guess that's one downfall of the trail itself is you couldn't really look around much into the woods and scenery as you had to constantly look down because of all the roots and the rocks. Yeah, it had uh, loose rocks, big rocks, rocks and roots so you kind of had to make sure you just kind of had to pay attention so like Deb said it was kind of hard to look around and enjoy the whole scenery but you can always stop along the way a lot of overlooks uh, it was busy but not too busy so that also slowed us down a little bit yep and uh, obviously Maya enjoyed the hike tremendously she got back here taped up on water like we hadn't given her any the whole entire time and flopped on the floor. I would definitely recommend it. It was, like I said, it was beautiful and the waterfall, although it wasn't a really tall one, it was neat. Yeah, it definitely was a unique waterfall that was dripping through vegetation down and was absolutely beautiful. So a beautiful day here um, on Lake Georgetown. And we're now gonna reward ourselves with a cold beer and, and enjoy, a shower and a shower and we're gonna enjoy this view and the 75 degree weather and the sunshine we just finished lunch at rudy's country store and barbecue here in round rock texas if there's about four or five locations yep. where rudy's are and this was the closest one to us we were recommended to come here and try it from a fan of chasing rv sunshine so we loved it. It was really super cool and we'd totally recommend the stop and the barbecue was good too. Absolutely. We love the recommendations. Please let us know in the comments any recommendations of anywhere that you think we're heading to or traveling to as we love trying new places. And we'll also do a shout out if you actually put your name in the comments and we'll say, hey, thanks George or thanks Tom or thanks Sarah. Let us know. We love to find new places and try new things. So let us know in the comments below. There's nothing better than a local recommendation or at least somebody who's been there before. We are at Thirsty Mule Winery and... Distillery and soon to be brewery, apparently. The distillery's name is actually called Schitt's Creek. We're huge fans of that show, yep. uh, but it is St. Patrick's Day. I know we don't have any green beer, but we wore green in spirit. Um, I'm Irish, Joel is not, not, but obviously. But I'll celebrate it. <laughs> love St. Patrick's Day, it's one of my favorite holidays. Uh, but the best way we can celebrate it is taking Maya out here to this beautiful winery. We're quite enjoying it, and they're very smart where they have a distillery and a brewery that's going to be coming in in this location too. And apparently they have uh, food trucks that come out here on Saturdays. Yep, oh, nice outdoor seating. Dogs are welcome outdoors. They're very friendly. They even gave my a couple treats. And they do have goats and mules that you're not supposed to feed. Overall, what did you think of the Thirsty Mule Winery in Schitt's Creek Distillery? Yeah, it was awesome. It was a nice area to sit outside with Maya. Um, the beverages were great and the service was even better. Yes, we had a very enjoyable afternoon and we'd totally recommend a stop if you're in this area to this. And they said soon 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 <laughs> opens the actual brewery and they're going to be the only ones in the state that have a winery brewery and distillery on site yep a little bit for everybody we're at the blue hole park uh, in georgetown texas and we're about to take the picket trail i found this hike on the all trails app and our friends bill and deanna from loving the silver life told us about this and said we have to come here and see this so that's what we're doing Yep, right at the entrance, there's a nice little man-made waterfall there where a lot of people are walking across and swimming, and we'll show you some pictures of that. 
Yeah, uh, sorry if there's like a lot of road noise and wind. It's pretty windy today, so we'll see how this goes. Look at you being brave. Well, it's kind of gradual, but it would be a bouncing into the water. Pretty cool little cave. Yeah, of course somebody's got to deface it, you know. Yeah, thanks, Ryan. <laughs> we gotta go back the same way we came. I can't take this nice cement path. No. I think we can. I think it goes right over to where we just went on the trail. Yeah, we can go back the trail. I'll race you. I'll go this way. You go that way. Chicken. You saying that the picket trail is too scary for heights that you don't want to go back that way? No, there's just a couple of areas that are a little sketchy, but it was okay. I'm here, so I guess it was okay. Oh, you. <laughs> so I know there's only two of us right now, but if you had a bunch of people in your group and you were walking through this one by one, would you call that a picket line? Haha. <laughs> we're on the picket trail. <laughs> so yes, it would be a picket line. Maybe if you stood shoulder to shoulder, it'd be a picket fence. <laughs> oh my god, that's even worse. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you gotta love him. Well, that was a very enjoyable hike, except for a pull of a Achilles tendon, which Joel tends to do from time to time. All right. But uh, now we are going to be going and meeting Deanna and Bill from Living the Silver Life's daughter, Sarah, and their son-in-law, Mike, uh, for a beer here at a brewery in Georgetown. Yep, looking forward to it. Yep, if you want to see them, we've met them before. You could check them out in our Austin video while we're having a few beers at the Machine Works in Austin. We'll leave a link up above and down below in the description for that video. Barking Armadillo Brewery in Georgetown, Texas. I have ordered a Thing Cool Irish Red, and Joel was gonna get the same, but then was talked into a Bach. Back to the future. Oh, Irish Red and Bach. everyone is that Barking Armadillo Brewery here in Georgetown, Texas is amazing and you all should come to it. I said y'all. Do you hear that? I think I'm picking up a Texas accent. Cheers! We're, we're all in trouble now. <laughs> all right, so what is the big sexy? I don't know what that means. My, What's that my mean? version of a smothered burrito. Ooh, oh, yeah. yeah, okay. Thank so we you. just ordered two Big Sexies. We're so looking forward to taking this back to the RV and eating. Sure that you look up. Gringo's Locos Tacos. And if you can hit up their food truck while you're in Georgetown or the Austin area, it's a must. Thank okay. you very much. Y'all have a great night. Yeah, thank you for dinner. My pleasure. <laughs> Well, it's a travel day. Yep. We're heading to our next Corps of Engineers Park outside of Waco, but we have completely enjoyed our stay um, here at Cedar Breaks Park, yep. which is a Corps of Engineers Park. So it was very nice. We had a nice large site. They're um, all well apart. I don't think that there's a bad site um, in this actual park, and uh, we'd totally recommend staying here. Uh, yeah, they're not all super level, but uh, it just took us a couple times and 
moving a couple blocks around. Uh, we're right up to the water, so that's pretty nice. Now, there's water and electric here and a dump station. Um, so we managed our water and ended up uh, being able to actually do a load of laundry before we left here. Um, yep, and there's two really nice bathrooms with showers and uh, for everybody to use. Yeah, and um, I would say the only downfall of this park actually is the fact that it's not full hookups with the sewer, but like you said, if you manage your water um, and tanks, uh, it's easy to do. We were here for a whole entire week and we were just fine. Yeah, I mean, like I said, it's super easy to do because there's bathrooms here, so you're not, right. too, not too stressful. Uh, the shower water was nice. Um, temperatures didn't have any issues there either. And I guess the only other complaint that we would have is we didn't get to go kayaking. Yep. Um, the weather didn't cooperate and of course we're leaving and it's like a gorgeous day to go kayaking. So we're kind of sad about that, but we're hoping at the next place in Waco, um, we're able to hit up some kayaking. Yeah, again, another Corps of Engineer Park and uh, there's Old Lake there. So hopefully we'll get to do some kayaking. Yeah, well, we will pack up and be on our way. What's your story? What's your sign? It's like we're twin flames in a... Left blinker's good. Right blinker's good. Brakes are good. Hazards are good. Left wheels are good. Right wheels are good. Yeah, this going in the right direction? I think so. At least the, these two have it going the same direction. That's a good start right there. Normally they're all over the board. Tow vehicles there. Yep. Brakes are hooked up. Yep. Ready to go. On next week's video, we do get to go kayaking and take you along for an amazing kayaking adventure on Lake Waco and stay at Spiegelville Corps of Engineer Park just outside of Waco, Texas and have a fabulous week there. And as always, stick around now as we're gonna roll those bloopers as you know we always have them. We just got done at lunch for us. <laughs> Can't talk because <laughs> we just finished lunch at Rudy's Country Store and Barbecue. Here in Round Right. <laughs> okay. <laughs> we don't know where we are. We <laughs> Okay. We just finished lunch at Rudy's Country. <laughs> Head west toward Wally. Shut up, you're not even on. Wally Lane. <laughs> <laughs> we just finished lunch. <laughs> I did the wine tasting and my favorite ended up being the Big Sexy. And that's not Joel, it's the wine. To all of you that have been coming along on our journey to be chasing every sunshine remember life is about moments and not things and you can always create your own sunshine and enjoy us chasing it in our rv see you on the next video